Okay, good morning, YouTube. Um, another watch comparison video. Um, today, this one, I'm not going to get involved in my old spiel. I've done it three times today already. So uh, basically, uh, my, my videos are, uh, basically are show and tells. I don't get involved. I'm no watch expert, so I don't get involved too much about telling you all about the watch. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of features about it, the important stuff like size, weight, diameters, uh, movements, and, of course, um, model numbers, okay? And one thing I find very useful when I was making a purchase for a watch is to find videos that actually have the watch on the wrist so you can see what it looks like. And that's what my videos are all about. Not about puking a bunch of facts, not about claiming to be a watch expert or anything like that. I'm just a collector. I love watches. I love big flashy things. And uh, I love these watches. Android and Invicta are two of my favorite watches. I got involved with Invicta, and then uh, my dad got me involved with Android. And I tell you, they're, they're really up and coming. Not all their, I don't like all their models like Invicta. Invicta, I mean, definitely is, <clears throat> I think, giving you a, lot, a little more as far as the refinement. But... Um, for, for the money, the Androids, if you catch them on sale, are just, I mean, unbelievable value. All right, so today we're going to be making a comparison between the Invicta Grand Arsenal, okay, model number 0336, and the Android Millipede. Okay, this is a sick-ass watch, I'm telling you. And for the price point, I mean, it's unbelievable. Now, you can pay up to 500 for this. You really, these watches fluctuate so much depending on how many they make, the time of year, everything. So you just have to keep watching for the deals. I'm not going to tell you what I pay. That's not what these videos are about because I get really great deals at times. Um, um, you can check the links in the description. That's where a lot of the, I'll, I'll give you that much, a lot of the, the um, deals I get. Um, I just, I'm a smart shopper, so I, I just keep my eye peeled for this stuff because I'm really passionate about them. Um, so again, okay, so the Android Millipede, um, not the operating system, this is Android USA. Um, this one's the Millipede AD757 in the blue face, the royal blue. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the, uh, let's start with the Millipede, okay? Since we, uh, no, you know, let's start with the Grand Arsenal today. We'll save the Millipede for last because a lot of the videos I'm starting with the other, the other watches. So let's, uh, let's start with this one here. This is the Grand Arsenal Invicta, one of my favorite watches, if not the favorite watch. Uh, this one here is coming in at, uh, now when I say Grand Arsenal, it's the full-size version, so they make the small one too. Remember, you got to get the one that's a Grand version if you want the big boy, okay? Um, they do a combination of two-tone here. As far as the contrast, you have polished silver, satin, links on the side, kind of a polished bezel in the center, and then the outer bezel satin, engraved case, uh, standard back. Um, this one here measures 63 millimeters all the way to the, to the uh, crown protector and pushers. Um, I know they don't normally don't measure a watch like that, but um, they know this one measures 58 the bezel. But because this part of the watch is so large, it does wear like a 63. So we're gonna consider it 63 because they consider it 63. Okay. Um, uh, depth on this one here is 19 millimeters. Again, that's not just the case; it's the back and all the way to the top of the hex right there, the hex screw. Okay. Um, again, powered by the 8040N quartz movement with the retrograde date or day. Uh, Sunday through or Monday through Sunday, and then it snaps back. Chronograph movement, I don't know if you can see that, and the big date or big day, excuse me, day date. What's the difference? Uh, screw down pushers, flame fusion crystal, all that other stuff. Um, this one here weighs 14 ounces, okay, but when I weigh it, because I size it for a 7 inch wrist, I'm going to get 12 and a half ounces out of it. Go ahead and throw it on the wrist here. 660 feet of water resistance. Just a beautiful watch. Ah, love that watch. Okay, now to the other one here, the Android. Uh, excuse me, I got a little cold, folks. Uh, 8757 Millipede, because the band just looks like, I don't know, it looks like, I guess, a centipede or something. That's where they came up with it. Neat thing about this watch, very easy to size. All these Android, all wa Android watches are hand-assembled, okay? And all these are threaded screws. So you just have to grab that with a plier gently or put a, uh, micro a little microfiber on it, you know, so you don't scratch it. Uh, even if you do, you won't notice. Um, I'm pretty careful with my stuff, and the other day I was getting out of the car, and my jacket caught it. I had this on the center console because I was going in to work out, and it went flying off the center console just right and landed on the concrete outside the door. I did put a little tiny scratch in it, but um, it's hardly noticeable. So, pretty durable watch. Um, again, you can size this yourself. I, mean, I size all my watches because I have the tools. A lot of people don't, but very easy to size yourself. These, again, these are threaded. You just twist against each other, and they pull out. Um, lot, the links are pretty small. Each one of these you can size, so it's pretty cool. Pretty thick band on it. Uh, let me give you dimensions on this one here. Um, now, this one here is an automatic, okay? And you won't get a... I mean, I can't tell you the deal I got this on, but you, you're going to get a... This is powered by a Seiko movement. This is powered by the Seiko, the Japanese S... I believe it's 2 
NH36A automatic, 24 joules, okay? You have the exhibition back, and those of you who don't know what an automatic movement is, basically it, as you move, the pendulum swings and it winds the watch, okay? Um, 53 millimeters by 55, it's not quite round, so you're a little bit, it's a little bit longer than it is, uh, round, um, uh, you know, um, width, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this one here has got the, uh, it's not a chronograph, but you have the uh, luminescent hands, of course, and you have the uh, day date on this one here. Thickness, you got, uh, what did I say there, 19 millimeters. Now, they say 19 on this one here, and that's what the, the arsenal is. Let's go ahead and, yeah, pretty much, all right. And uh, what else? Um, got that awesome band, double locking clasp. This one here is kind of cool because you actually it locks a little different than the uh, the Invicta. This one here actually has the pushers on the side, so it's really it's very stable. There's the back again, exhibition back. Uh, hardened mineral crystal, all stainless steel. Uh, bracelet measurement eight and three quarter inches in length and 35 millimeters in width. Uh, they call the clasp, excuse me, push deployment clasp. 1,600 feet of water resistance, and uh, again, 15 ounces, so it's a pretty heavy watch. Let me go ahead and throw that on the wrist now. Get a little side-by-side -side action here. Oh, yeah. All right, there you go. Just a beautiful watch. Now, I went with the blue. They make this particular one uh, with an open heart, so you can see the... Uh, the movement right there, but that one was so much more with a with a baby blue mother of pearl face. I got such a deal on this. I went with the blue, and the blue is pretty cool. You know, it, ro it rocks well with like jeans. All satin finish, no polishing on this one. You have this kind of sandblasted kind of a uh, bezel, with like a like was it five step bezel. You got some uh, CNC machining on the side. It's really a beautiful watch. I mean, the band on this thing is just. It's very similar to what I, when I think about it, like uh, some of the crazy bands I've seen, the Oakleys, which are extremely expensive, like the Minute Machines, they have some really intricate bands. You're going to pay over a thousand bucks for one of those watches, so, I mean, they're expensive. This one here, I, I mean, I might even get into the deal I got. You have to look it up for yourself. So there they are, side by side. Definitely not a small watch and just a chunk of a band. I mean, I get a lot of compliments on that one, too. That, that's a heavy watch. So again, um, when I size them, because I have 7-inch wrists and I weigh about 165 pounds, 170 pounds, um, I take some links out. You know, I don't have a big wrist. Um, so naturally, you lose a little bit of the weight. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some weight, uh, some weights here. So the Android, I'll tell you right now, I won't have to weigh this one. This one weighs 12 and a half ounces by the time it's sized. The Android, after being side, sized, it's going to weigh 12.95, so almost 13 ounces on this one. So it is heavier. This is a beast on your wrist, folks. Let me give you one last side by side here. I tell you, for those of you who own Invictas, go ahead and make the decision to purchase yourself an Android. You will not be disappointed. It'll be your second brand, your second go-to brand. And this one again, 55 millimeters. So it's it's a big watch. You can see, I mean, it's it's rather large. These are both really huge, chunky watches. There's the band. All right, folks, that's it. That's my basic comparison video with the watch on the wrist. I'll go ahead and throw the Android on there one more time on this wrist here. You kind of see it. There you go. I'm, I, I, I wear them on the left, so it's a little, little difficult on this side, a little awkward for me. All right, folks, there it is. Thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Take care.